guys, Roy Plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 26th part of the I'm a Lover Challenge. I am so excited that you are here. It is hard to be really happy and upbeat when I see Abby's face like this. It just breaks my heart. In the last episode, uh, her dad passed away, and Abby witnessed it. Uh, she's right here. She's very sad. And Charlotte witness, witnessed uh, her husband's death. She was, I think she was sitting at the breakfast table having some food, and he just fell over next to her so she saw the whole thing as well she has been going back and forth between going under the covers and crying her eyes out and then laying on top and taking a nap i feel absolutely awful for these two ladies it's weird not having mason here it's really weird um like as one of the people that i can control and it's also strange that penelope is completely fine I mean, look at her face. She was at school when he passed away and she came home and you think that she would notice that her dad wasn't around or she would pick up that these two were really upset about something or that she would go to Mason's urn over here and cry, but she's done absolutely nothing like that. She's just been happy this whole time. So I don't know what's going on with that. We're just going to say that she's just trying to keep a, a brave face for her mom and her sister because she is uh, the heir of generation two now that mason has completely passed away um like it's it's all done and he's gone that is uh the ending of generation one with charlotte and the rules for generation one were that charlotte was supposed to join a writer career she did that for a day and then i was like okay i don't want to mess with this whole thing <laughs> i want to be able to have more control over charlotte so i just jumped right into the challenge she's supposed to write romance novels which she did actually let's go ahead and click on Charlotte since we're talking about here. Oh, she even looks sad in her sleep. It just breaks my heart. She's supposed to date one person through the young adult stage and she did. She got married as an adult. Must marry the same person she uh, dated as a young adult and that was Mason. Have two kids. She did. She had Penelope. Then she had Abby. Have a date night every week. At least one date. They did. Stay with spouse until death do us part and that is what has just happened. So... We are moving on to generation two here, uh, through the wall. <laughs> here she is. She's supposed to have at least two boyfriend or girlfriends. And I was reading in the forums that you can split the boyfriends or girlfriends between uh, both children. Uh, go on five dates. And you're supposed to split that between the children as well if you want to. So uh, Penelope has to go on one more date. And you guys voted on Twitter that you wanted me to age Adam Gray down. When you guys saw him in the game, you're like, he's gorgeous. Send Penelope out on a date with him. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I have aged Adam down and he is now a teen. So we are going to head out to a lot. Let's go to the cafe. I don't think we've been, I don't think, um, let's go to this one. Hare and Hedgehog. I don't think I've been there. We want to travel by ourselves. And we are going to have Adam and Penelope go on a date. I am super excited. He looks, I don't know if Adam and Ricky are brothers. I wish I knew that. Yay, we're here. Gosh, I love this custom content outfit. It's so cute. So, ooh, automatically she wants to talk to some. Oh, for here, she wants to order something. We're not going to do that just yet. We are going to invite, oh my gosh, I hope she knows him. Um, Adam Gray. Oh my gosh. We are going to invite Adam Gray to our current lot. Hopefully he comes. I feel kind of bad because Ricky is seriously in love with this and we're just inviting Adam out to come and hang out with us. Adam Gray will be right over. All right, let's zoom out and see which direction he runs up from. There he is! Dun dun dun! He's so handsome. He's, ooh, look at that, like that snarl he's got on his face let's see if we can call him over let's like dude calm 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 down he just looks so upset so he's coming is that yuki i i can't see i'm so distracted right now i just played the doom beta uh it's absolutely free right now for this entire weekend and through today and monday and i had so much fun i just screamed the entire time <laughs> let's give him a heartfelt compliment uh, give him a knock-knock joke. He looks bored. Do you see that? He looks absolutely bored. Let's get to know him. Oh, he's tense. I wonder if he's a loner. Uh, let's brighten his day. Oh my gosh, look at his face. Tell a dramatic story. 
I feel like we need to work the green up a little bit before we can ask him on a date. We have learned that Adam is creative. Look at him. He is not happy to be here at all. Give props, maybe? He's got... He, I, Pleasant, why are you tense, dude? I wish we could ask him. Um... Oh, oh, he doesn't like anything that we're saying to him. Should we even bother asking him on a date? What do you... Oh, I want to be like, what do you guys think? But you guys aren't here with me. I'm doing this all by myself. Oh, he laughed at that. He's got gorgeous green eyes. I love how tan his skin is compared to his gorgeous green eyes. Whoa. Okay. Well, he took the flirting. Can we kiss his hands? Maybe he's angry that we're here flirting with him when Ricky is so in love with us. I have no idea. What does he think of that? Oh, he was like, oh, that's nice. Let's ask him on a date. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, ask on a date. I He's a hard guy to read. First, he's absolutely angry. Trish just walked by. First, he's absolutely angry. Now he's like feeling it. Man, this is an emotional guy. Can Penelope handle this roller coaster guy? Socialize with your date. We need to kiss him and sit and talk with him. So let's actually go inside the building. I just realized I think we had our date here with Ricky. Oh, I feel super bad. And if Ricky comes by and sees us on a date with this guy, oh, I'm going to feel so bad. Are you going to come and sit with us? Please come sit. Uh, oh, insult. Give him a heartfelt compliment. Come sit down. I need to get credit for this. Oh, we sat down, so it gave us credit for it. What else? We, we need to have a joke with him. Let's tell him a knock-knock joke. Uh, I kind of feel like I want to watch, like, the doors and stuff to see if Ricky walks inside. We need to tell him two more jokes. Let's tell him a gross joke. <laughs> okay, we'll sit here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this face. Oh, it was the gross joke. Okay. Um, What if we... Oh, did an impression. Okay, he's smiling now. This is good. Who else is here? I feel like that's Yuki. Oh, he's laughing. This is good. Are you going to sit? Oh, okay. You want to sit with us? It'll be really awkward. Let's have two deep conversations with him. This is kind of awkward that someone has chosen to sit down with us. Um... Yeah, I need to pause this. <laughs> I just get so distracted. It's just so hard. Um, I'm not seeing it. Do you guys see deep conversation? Maybe we need to talk to him more. Ask him about his day. I don't want to spread a nasty rumor. That's not how she rules. Um, ask about woohoo. Right in front of this awkward conversation. Ask him about his career. We want to have a deep conversation with you, dude. Why won't you let me? Um, shoot, brighten his day. Maybe he just doesn't want to, like, be here. Why can't I have a deep conversation with you? It won't let me. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight for a kiss. Why not? Let's just go in and kiss him. Um... It may not even let me kiss him. <laughs> Maybe if it's because she's a... Uh, she's playful i don't know exchange numbers let's see what he says to that let's see if he rolls his eyes at us let's embrace him penelope has learned that adam is a high school student at buckingham high well yes because we aged him down <laughs> make a flirtatious joke i want to see how he reacts to um reveal pickup line how does he react to us giving him his phone number what does he think um, oh, he liked it. Why do people keep sitting with us? This is deep conversation. Oh my gosh, I hope I clicked that button right. I got so excited, I just mashed that button. Um, deep conversation, yeah. And then let's kiss him, first kiss. Let's see how this works out. It seems like it's going a little bit better. He seems to be a little bit, he's flirty now. <laughs> he seems like he's more into us. I, I just wish we could, uh, is, maybe we can get to know him a little bit more and figure out why he's so moody. Shoot, get to know option isn't here right now. Oh, first kiss. Is he going to take it? Oh, darn it. 
Why did you have to get up right at that moment? I couldn't even take a picture of that. He took it. And we didn't get credit for that. Oh, no, it did. Okay. I was like, oh, no, we got to kiss him again. Attempt to seduce your date. Attempt to seduce. I don't know. What do you guys think of these two together? Who else is here? Oh, he's liking it. He totally like. Well, then he walked away. He's going to get something to drink, huh? Okay. So there you guys go. We've done all of the objectives that we were supposed to do for our date. Uh, let's go ahead and order for here a cappuccino. Why not? Oh, what did she want to order? Order food at the espresso bar. It's, yeah. Well, we did the wrong thing. She's hungry and I ordered the wrong thing. Whoa. Penelope kind of seems into him. She's doing this all on her own. Oh, darn it. Wall. <gasps> Whoa. Is he into us? What do you guys think? Whoa. <laughs> Ricky could be in the running for this. And we walked behind the counter to order a drink. When I was a barista, if someone did that to me, I would have been like, get out of here. <laughs> He's still in a flirty mood. She's in a flirty mood. What do you guys think of these two together? Are you guys liking this? What does she want to do? She wants to get to know him. So let's see if that's an option yet. Friendly. Ask about day. Deep conversation. I wish get to know was there more often, but it is not. So I guess we'll hug him. Where did he even put that? He um. Well, that disappeared. <laughs> Poor girl, now she has to go potty. Oh, quick, find the potty. Uh, hopefully they're upstairs. Let's see if there's bathroom. Yes, thank goodness. So she needs to go potty. She's hungry. What are these orange ones? Uh, has to pee and she is super hungry. So let's go ahead and grab her to pee leave. I feel like he's gonna, I feel like he's gonna leave. Um, no, we don't wanna talk to the guy. We just wanna order food for here. Um, Cannoli. Okay, stop talking to him. You really have to pee. And how embarrassing would that be for her if she just peed right in front of him? Um, no, honey, go pee. Like, I'm not kidding. Go pee. <laughs> Coffee can wait just this once. There's our cannoli. He's like, I don't know who to give it to. You just ordered it and walked away. Let's watch these two together. Maybe he'll be kind of flirty with someone else. No? Is that our cannoli? Yeah. So get the cannoli and then sit here. I kind of want to keep an eye on him because I wonder if he's going to flirt with anyone else. Oh, nope. He's taking our food. Great. Enjoy the food that we, uh, can we take it from him? No. Shoot. She's like, where the heck is my food? Um, let's go ahead and order food for here. Cannoli. <laughs> we just took the cannoli back. The barista has left. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I don't know. Is he in a flirty mood or is he just flirting with Morgan? Kind of feel like we should just be quiet and sit next to him and see how this goes. Dang musical chairs. I wish you guys would stop doing that. Where is she going with this? Oh, no. Okay, well, seemed like he was just being nice to Morgan. Got up and was just like, I want to have a conversation with her. Okay. Oh, my game froze. He's going to go order something. Our drink, our drink, our date is over in 21 minutes. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this until our, um, until the date is over. Because there's really nothing else we can do here. Let's go. Yay, date complete. Gold, gold medal earned. Legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. So what do you guys think of these two together? Let me know in the comments down below. We are going to go ahead and send Penelope home. Ah, uh, my voice is just absolutely gone. We don't want to bring him with us. I screamed so hard in that Doom beta that my cat jumped on the desk in front of me and meowed at me like, could you keep it down? <laughs> and I go back and forth if I should post the video or not because OBS kept dropping frames when I was recording it. So it's really, the game is really glitchy. So um, the video is really glitchy at least. So 
we are not done. Normally I would end the episode after a date, but we are not done. <laughs> because I'm going to put a little uh, voting thing in the video right here. You just open it, a little eye is going to pop up. You just open it, it won't take anywhere else. Uh, you can still watch the video and I want you guys to vote. Who do you think should be Penelope's first boyfriend? Should it be Ricky, Cooper, Justin, or Adam? These are the four guys that she has gone on a date with. And like I said, we aren't done this episode just yet. Abby has been a bit reckless, re reckless, reckless since her father's death. Um, she's been skipping school, not caring about anything, and she feels pretty numb. So she's going to sneak out of the house right now. And, oh God, can you hear her sobbing? She is absolutely torn apart about this. So she is going to sneak out of the house and she is gonna ask this boy named Wesley Harrington that she knows from school to sneak out with her. Actually, I didn't write down, I wanna say pirate vet submitted Wesley. My library, and I apologize if you see Sims without uh, shirts on, it's because when you create a Sim like this one right here, when you create a sim and then you delete the custom content, they're in your library without a shirt on. So um, what we want to do is we want to type in hashtag Warigen2. So these are sims that people have submitted and I really appreciate it. Here is uh, the guys that we just went on a date with. So I'm going to say this wrong. No, pirate vet. Yeah, that's right. We are going to go and hang out with Wesley right now. So thank you so much to pirate vet for submitting Wesley. I feel super bad because um, Abby might break his heart. We want to sneak out to, hmm, let's go to the bluffs. Oh my gosh. Will it let me bring him with me? That would be really, <gasps> it will. I'm like, that is so convenient. Instead of calling and he's like, no, it's midnight, I'm asleep. You know how they do that? <laughs> he didn't answer his phone because he's sleeping. So here we are. She, oh, the tragic music and the tragic just tears on her face. So she is thinking, Abby is thinking of throwing herself into a relationship. She is so numb and in shock from her father's death. She just wants to feel something so bad, even if it means getting into a relationship with someone she doesn't know this poor guy right here. We're gonna go ahead and brighten his day. Let's get to know him. Let's, um, oh, is he stuck in the bush? I think he's stuck. Let's reset him. There we go. Let's go ahead and brighten his day. Oh, see if we can, we are so upset. Ask for, oops, did I just click on the wrong one? I did. Uh, let's ask for advice. Isn't it awkward how they stand like this sometimes? She's just like, Dude, oh, no, she is brightening his day. She's like, my dad just passed away. I'm having the worst time. Um, complain about problems. Wow. Can we just do green things with them? Ask about his day. Wow, look how upset she is. She's just having the hardest time. Let's go ahead and tickle him. Let's go ahead and get to know. Let's move up this green bar a little bit. Uh, share ideas with him and apologize because he didn't like what we just did. Abby has learned the following traits about Wesley. He's an insider. So let's see if we can give props. Is she going to apologize? I feel super... Okay, okay, this is going better. Can you go ahead and apologize to him? What does he think? He's like, it's okay. I understand you're going through a really hard time right now. So, what we're going to do is, uh, we can't ask him on a date. I don't think we can because she's so upset. Um, ask about his day? Gossip? You know what? I think she can do. I think she can. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Welcome back. Call sadness hotline. I know it's awkward that we are standing here with this guy right here and we're just going to get on our phone and call someone. But I think if we call the sadness hotline, it could make this a little bit easier so we can ask him on a date. Or is it just that my green bar is too low that we can't really ask him? 
poor Abby. Look at her face. She is just so distraught that her dad has passed away. Look, it's going down. Two days. Oh my gosh, she's going to be like this for two whole days. So let's see if we can... Oh, my game froze. Gloomy compliment. I guess gloomy compliment? I don't know. I almost feel like this is the black widow challenge all over again you know after someone passes away and the black widow has to start flirting with the next guy oh i don't think she's gonna be able to do this you guys um ask to stargaze maybe that'll build up their uh friendship meter a little bit faster this guy's embarrassed wesley what are you embarrassed about we are the ones that have to be embarrassed about stuff Okay, they're feeling inspired. Nope, she's still very sad. Oh, man. Bright and day. I don't think she's going to be able to... Uh, what I wanted to do was have them go on a date and uh, see if maybe if it cheered her up a little bit, but it's not going to work. Um, discuss color theory? <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to work. She's going to be like this for two days unless I keep having her call the sadness hotline and um, maybe check on stuff at the computer at home. So we're just going to go ahead and end this here. What a bummer. I really wanted these two to get together. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. <laughs> I really hope you guys like this Let's Play. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions and any questions you guys have down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.